Welcome to Career Guidance Max Playlist. In this video, we are going to solve one problem from Skew's theorem. So, first you can see what is Skew's theorem. If f of x less than or equal to g of x less than or equal to h of x, when x is nearer to a, except possibility a, and limit extends to a f of x equal to limit extends to a h of x equal to l. The limit of x tends to a and the limit of h tends to h of x both will be l. Then no need to find g of x. Simply we can write limit x tends to a g of x equal to l. If limit of x tends to a f of x and g of h of x equal to l means no need to find limit x tends to a g of x equal to L. Directly we can solve, which is called Skew's theorem. Is nothing but uh, we can say sandwich theorem. Sandwich means, for example, you can take one uh, sandwich in the upper part, you will have bread, lower part also you will have bread, within uh, bread you will have stuffs. Okay. If you are biting that uh, sandwich now, both within our uh, mouth. That means when you are uh, biting f of x, h of x, uh, simply we can say for uh, example, when you are biting f of x and h of x means within that you will have g of x. So no need to bite again g of x. Simply we can uh, swallow that sandwich. For example, I am saying if you are finding f of x, h of x equal to l means no need to find here g of x. Simply we can say that is the answer for uh, f of x and g of x answer here we can write so that is called uh, skew's theorem for example sandwich okay so here uh, take this problem limit x tends to 0 x square into sin 1 by x equal to 0 okay wow. so x square into sin 1 by x equal to 0 means when i am substituting limit value this is not 0 we are going to prove this so when I am substituting here directly x equal to 0, what will happen? x equal to 0 into sin 1 by 0. 1 by 0 is infinity. The function is not defined at x equal to 0 is function not defined. Okay. Not defined. So there must be x not equal to 0. So this 1 by x is real, not imaginary parts. Okay, well. So, for example, here you can take, here you will have sin 1 by x. So, that I will take the sine curve. Already you know that sine curve, which is your sine curve. This is plus 1 and this is minus 1. Here uh, sine 0 is 0. Here pi by 2 equal to plus 1. Sine pi equal to 0. Sine... 3 pi by 2 equal to minus 1, sin 2 pi is equal to 0, next sin 5 pi by 2 equal to plus 1, 6 pi equal to 0, 7 pi by 2 equal to minus 1, like that we will get. That means the sin values are within minus 1 to plus 1, so that here I will write minus 1 less than or equal to sin 1 by x less than or equal to plus 1. Okay, here in your question, your function is x square into sin 1 by x. So, both side I am going to multiply with x square. Minus 1 into x square less than or equal to sin x square into sin 1 by x less than or equal to x square. So, you will get uh, minus x square less than or equal to x square sin 1 by x less than or equal to x square, right? Huh? So from this, consider this is f of x and this is g of x and this is h of x. So I will take limit x tends to 0, left hand side, okay, well, f of x. Or you can take simply limit x tends to 0, f of x equal to limit x tends to 0 and uh, f of x is minus x square. Here you can substitute x equal to 0, you will get 0. Right? Uh, next you can write limit 
x tends to 0 g of h of x is equal to limit x tends to 0 h of x equal to x square that also 0. So by skews theorem by skews theorem we say that f of x less than or equal to g of x less than or equal to h of x means if you know f of x and h of x means what is g of x this answer again we will write limit x tends to 0 x square into sin 1 by x equal to 0 that is understood based on skews theorem f of x h of x 0 means g of x also must be 0 based on skews theorem okay the very simple one you may get two more in university based on skews theorem okay well thank you pa